It's great to talk about land recycling when you've experienced it and can get excited about it. I'm Ignacio Dairit and I help cities recycle land. Where I'm standing now, there used to be a pockmarked street with a railroad running right in the middle of it, many vacant properties, there were abandoned buildings, and there were many sites with very serious contamination. 20 years ago, I would not dream about walking in this neighborhood. Go to Emeryville now, and it's a very walkable place. There are a lot more parks, more streetscape, there are a lot more shops. We have new residences going up. We have a greenway where people can bike and walk, schools, and a whole lot of other uses that weren't here years ago. When you see so much life in a neighborhood that had none, it really just feels so much better. When cities want to improve their neighborhoods, they eventually have to recycle land. Land recycling is reusing abandoned property for better uses. Many communities leave these properties behind because they're afraid that there may be contamination. These are what we call brownfields. Brownfields definitely drag down the neighborhood because nobody wants to be there. But these brownfields are also opportunities. When redeveloped, it also improves not just that site, but everything else around it. The alternative to reusing brownfields is abandoning the city and building on virgin land outside city limits, which can lead to sprawl. You have to build new freeways, you cause more traffic, and you are also affecting air pollution and the watersheds. Now, think about developing on brownfields within cities. People are closer to established communities where they have the jobs, where they have the parks, and that in itself is a sustainable form of development because you're driving less. You need less road per person. That really preserves a lot of land, and it values neighborhoods and builds communities from within. So it's a win-win-win. There are many examples of good land recycling. It's been done successfully, and we can teach it. There are communities like Milwaukee that redeveloped the entire Menominee Valley. The Menominee Valley was 1,200 acres of blight. There were many abandoned factories, so rather than build into virgin land, they saw the value of taking this blighted piece of property and redeveloping it and bring jobs back. It is now an eco-industrial park with regional trails, a center for business and recreation. It's a great success story that is used as a model nationwide. Atlantic Station is one of the largest single-site brownfields redevelopment projects in the country. And it used to be a steel mill. Now they have dense development where they have housing above retail. And so it's a place where you don't have to drive from place to place. You can park once and walk. It's a new neighborhood right in the heart of Atlanta. Our challenge is helping communities break down the steps in land recycling and imagine how it might improve their quality of life. SeaClear has a grant from the Environmental Protection Agency to provide assistance to communities that want to redevelop brownfields. We provide technical assistance, we provide project support, and we mentor cities so that they can redevelop brownfields. It's hard work, but when you show them the excitement and enjoyment that comes out of having recycled a piece of land, and when they see how wonderful a place can be, that really feels great. <laughs>